Wouldn't it be nice just to see things differently? Do you sometimes get stuck with the reoccurring problem that you can't seem to see a way round and you get sucked in and you spend your time constantly looking at that point of pain, whether it's something that you've created or whether it's something that's coming from the outside source, there's something that seems to have a negative effect on your character, a negative effect on the way that your mind works and how you can feel stuck and there's no way out. In this short video, I'm going to show you how sometimes just taking a step back and seeing the big picture gives you the freedom that you want because sometimes you're looking at things in the wrong way. Sometimes it can see that you're focus, focus, focusing in the wrong direction where if you just take a step back, you can see all the possibilities. And in fact, the situation that you're in may be totally different to what you imagined. So watch this little video now within this video and just see what you think about focusing on the big picture in peripheral vision rather than that point of pain. So here is the fun part because when we look at this picture here you can see this road going up and you can see some look like council flats or high-rise buildings at the back here and you start looking at this picture and working out what it is because what you're seeing and what you're trying to make sense of of these high-rise buildings here you can see them all there other like sort of um Kowloon Bay and you can see them there yeah and this road and it's perhaps is this a desert here but it comes slightly red down towards the bottom and sometimes we actually have to pull back and have a look from a distance to work out what it is. Because this picture, is, as you look at it now, can give you so many different views on what is exactly going on. And I promise you, you know this picture. You know this picture because it is quite a famous picture. And when you get into peripheral vision, you take a step back and you have a look at the whole picture rather than just that little bit that you're focusing on. Because as soon as you look at the whole picture, you can see an awful lot more. So as I pull back to here, we can see now the picture's changed because I've got a hard line up the side here. I've got like a waterfall here on the edge. Some water going off there. There's the water coming down. Um, it looks like a beach or something here because it's lighter and you've got it looks like a water coming down cascading down and if I drop down a bit you can see that that is yeah it is water coming down from the waterfall going down to this big dark gorge here and is that a river what's that going through and then we got a reddish bit here but you still got that little road going down to is that lava what is it then you've got the a white bit here and that could be water that could be a sort of a beach i don't know but as you look around you start looking at what it is and if we pull back into peripheral vision you suddenly see the whole picture and as we look at the whole picture which i know that you've seen somewhere before you may have seen it in, in, in print, you may have seen it in um, Paris, but as you have a look at it, that whole picture, we were just focusing on that little bit there. And those high-rise buildings there that we thought were high-rise buildings, well, they're not, are they? Um, that waterfall down here into that deep gorge, that's not a waterfall. Um, that's not lava we don't know you know there are so many different things about that picture and the more you look at it you know the little bridge in the background here and the mountains here in the background and the clouds and all these wonderful shapes in the in the cloud when you start having a look at the whole picture it brings you into reality because if you just focus on that first bit as we were right at the beginning those high-rise buildings you can't actually see properly what's going on so as you take this picture now 
and put it into your life. What is it that you're focusing on so much that you can't see a way out of? I get this with a lot of people who suffer from stress or depression or anxiety. They're so focused on that one point there that they can't actually see out of, out of, they can't find their way out. And often when they come and see me for my, for the one-to-one sessions or when they come onto courses and they start talking about their clients, their coaching, or whether if you're in the medical profession, whether you're talking about your patients, but they're so focused on their problems and you just say, fine, let's just zoom out a bit. Let's just get on a drone and go up and have a look from above. And you can soon see the situation from a totally different way. And by doing that, you're just freeing yourself up. So what is it that you need to smile about, rather like May and Lisa? What is it you need to just focus out from here out into the whole thing that you can then see from a totally different point of view. And perhaps as you look from a totally different point of view, you realise that that little bit that you were stuck on right at the beginning, in fact, isn't very important at all. So as you can see, just pulling yourself back and having a look at the whole picture can totally change what's going on in your mind. It can totally change the way you act, the way you feel, the way you behave, giving you more power. Now, you may not have done already, but you may have done. If you haven't, just hit the subscribe button, the little bell next door to it, and every Friday you get a new video, and the bell will just get, send, send you a little ping, a little note somewhere on your system that there's a new video that hopefully will help you in the future. And please feel free to get your friends to come and join in this little community that we're creating in this YouTube group.